So here we are back again, me and Emily, my senior trainer. We've been um, working really extensively over the last couple of weeks, the uh, last couple of months, um, transitioning into an online situation, bringing experiential learning from an offline classroom, you know, off-site kind of situation to an online environment. And it's been amazing. You know, our big thing is about engaging with participants, being in the session face to face, having ability to jump in and out of conversations. So it's a little bit difficult to wrap your head around in a virtual setting. But I think as time went by, we just kind of got used to it and got the hang of it. Even our audiences enjoyed it a lot more than I thought, to be honest. What I really enjoyed about the few sessions that we've done in experiential learning online is what for me, a personal challenge challenge taking on what we used to craft in real life and then putting it onto a virtual setting when i see the participants actually taking part and engaging and and getting frustrated and getting angry and getting happy and getting aesthetic and despair and you know all those emotions that we traditionally see in a real life setting actually happening because we've managed to devise a game a, a session out it's, it's pretty rewarding. I really enjoyed that. What about you, Emily? What was it about the online experiential learning that we're doing now that you really enjoy? Um, it was experiential on one hand, so high levels of engagement is always good. We always want people to be on um, and not disengage, but I think engagement has to be meaningful. So the type of activities that we choose, the kind of uh, scenario that we create for them, all of those things play a big part. What I really think would be um, cool is if we could take some of those experiences from that game and have them actually replicate it in real life. That's what I think would be really cool. So what you're saying is that not just have meaningful um, experiences, but meaningful experiences that are embedded in real life following footsteps of successful people? Yeah, so so here's um, what we are working on and this is going to be really exciting i don't know about you but it's really exciting for me we've always spoken about the concept of people learning through experience hence the phrase experiential learning right but the struggle has always been how do we learn from a particular experience and then make it relevant in other experiences well you know what this crisis has given us an opportunity that you know, we don't need to learn from a different experience and apply it into another experience. We can actually learn from the very same experience itself. What does that mean? Now imagine if you could identify the, the greatest CEOs in the world and the moments in their life where they did something and had a brilliant lesson from that. Imagine if you could identify that and then duplicate those actions. Logic says you're gonna get some of that learning that changed those individuals' lives. That's what we're working on. More often than not, human nature is actually to escape challenges because they, they don't want to build the muscle. It taught me that if you want people to invest in what you're saying, you need to be presentable and you need to have the right personality. And it just happened with one instance. I think that was one of the most uh, pivotal moments of my career. This one instance changed the leadership in me. It's, it's almost like a virtual apprenticeship, isn't it? Yeah, um, so instead of having to follow a person through many years of, you know, um, being your Sifu, uh, now you get um, a Sifu on your phone. Yeah, and not just one. You, you're going to get hundreds uh, because that's what we're doing. We're, we're dissecting everybody's pivotal moments in their life, finding out what lessons they learn from those pivotal moments and then saying, why don't you go through these pivotal moments yourself? So that's what we are, we are really excited about these days, working on a project like that. And that's made possible because you take advantage of the situation that we're in now. If you focus on the opportunity, I think there are tons of opportunities out there. So we're grabbing this one and we're going to show it to you hopefully pretty soon. Stay tuned.